Hello friends, India is going to enter a new era in the world of electrical. Because very soon, Indian power sector is going to launch a 1200 kV ultra high voltage AC transmission line, which is going to break all the records of other countries, which are already dealing with ultra high voltage AC transmission lines. That means it will become the first country in the world to have the highest ultra high voltage AC transmission lines. Or we can also say that it will become the first country in the world to have the highest power transmission lines. The biggest achievement for India in the electrical world history. So in this video we will discuss everything about this project. So first we will discuss what are the existing UHV IC line voltage and power ratings. Then we will discuss what will be the power carrying capacity of this 1200 kV UHV IC transmission lines along with its installation cost and which sector is making this project and which sectors are helping in this ongoing project. And also we will look into the present scenario of other countries. They are dealing with what transmission line voltage. So in this video we will discuss about everything. So hello friends, welcome to Electrosite. And before proceeding, I request you all please subscribe to my channel and watch this video till the end so that you won't miss anything. And if you like my video, please share and give a thumbs up so that I will get inspired to come up with more new ideas and concerns. So without any further delay, let's move to our topic. So this topic is all about transmission. So here we will see all the transmission line voltage we are dealing with. That is 132 kV, 220 kV. 440 kV and 765 kV maximum. That is the high voltage AC transmission line range. Forget about 1100 kV because this one comes under ultra high voltage AC transmission line voltage. And about that I will discuss some after some time. So till now maximum transmitting voltage you are dealing with 765 kV to 800 kV. And now we will see this transmission line can carry up to how much power. So, a 765 to 800 kV HVAC transmission line can carry between 1200 megawatt to 2400 megawatt power. So, of course, if this 800 kV transmission line can carry up to this much of power, then the 1200 kV line will definitely carry much more power than this line and that to minimal losses. So before going to the 1200 kV transmission line, let us first know that what do you mean by ultra high voltage? What range comes under this ultra high voltage? And which transmission lines will come un under this range? So any voltage greater than 1000 kV is known as ultra high voltage are going for ultra high voltages to reduce the losses while transmitting to reduce the power loss while transmitting as low as possible and so that efficiency will increase because this transmission stage is very important so let's look into the 1200 kV UHV AC line which can carry how much power so at 1200 kV UHV AC line is capable of transmitting between 6000 to 8000 megawatt of power so at 1200 kV AC transmission line is capable of transmitting or carry between 6000 to 8000 megawatt of power look at the increased range so here you can imagine the reduction in losses and increased efficiency level so now the question is why Indian power sectors why they thought of going for UHV AC transmission line so the reason is last decade Indian power sector faces huge power loss only because of this transmission line losses so you can think here although the generating stations are capable of generating power as much as required as per demand but what is the use of that power if most of this power will get lost while transmitting only so that won't be usable by consumers or customers so no use of that power so that is why transmission stage is very very important so the first reason is to reduce that losses that transmission line losses and the second reason is a survey report is saying that by 2027 demand of electricity is expected to increase by 5 lakh megawatt for which the installed capacity should be around 7 lakh megawatt. So demand is increasing in a huge rate. So Indian power sectors have to take steps such that demand will also be fulfilled and efficiency of overall system 
also increase. So along with increasing the generation capacity, they have to make this transmission lines more efficient so that with minimal or very minimal losses, they can, they can meet the demand. So now let's discuss about this project. The sector is making this project, which are the helping companies and many more. So PGCIL, Power Grid Corporation of India Limited, is making this commercial transmission lines in India. In 2013, Power Grid Corporation of India Limited has declared to set up a 1200 kV ultra high voltage AC transmission line for commercial purpose. And this transmission line will be set up between Vardha to Aurangabad in Maharashtra. So who is making this project? Power Grid Corporation of India, PGCIL. So you know PGCIL is a Maharatna company, PSU, which is a power grid and deals with all transmission. So this is making this project and this will be set up between Vardha to Aurangabad in Maharashtra. And this transmission line will be of 400 km in distance. So 1200 kV line, first of its kind in the world. So before installing so many things are there that should be taken care of and needed to be examined. So that is why it has set up a 1200 kV UHVAC testing station at Bina, Madhya Pradesh along with experimental lines. So in Bina National Testing Center, PGCI has set up a 1200 kV UHVAC testing center and experimental transmission line. So here all the experiments, all the research will be held and the performance of the, those experimental transmission lines will be seen. How they are actually performing in, in that ultra high voltage range and actually they are working properly or not. And for this project, Around 35 manufacturers are helping PGCIL, that is including BHEL, Well, Siemens, Ariba, and many more. So, how they will help PGCIL? By providing transformers, surge arresters, circuit breakers, and many more, which are needed for the testing station. So, these experimental transmission lines are made up of a 2 km in length and are made up of a pilot tire. And the total estimated cost of this whole project, including this KV station and that commercial transmission lines which are making at Maharashtra, the total estimated cost is 800 crore almost not sure it, it can increase also along with this testing station pgcil had also started research and superconductivity which till now only exist in books and theory superconductivity which practically provides zero losses and in which the superconductors remain in very low temperature that is at minus 135 degrees centigrade so you know power loss happen in terms of heat so if you can eliminate this heat and this losses can reduce so research says superconductors are capable of providing or practically zero losses and they remain and they can remain in very cold position and if this whole project will be successful then power grid will launch this ultra high voltage AC transmission line this 1200 kV line in many parts of India so this was all about this ongoing project now we will look into the present scenario of other countries what voltage they are dealing with and is India the first to have the UHVAC transmission lines? Of course not. Other countries must have started. So here are all the details about that. So in 1985, Russia had already installed a 1200 kV AC system, UHVAC system. But the problem was it was discontinued after its purchase. So you know before 1992, Russia was known as USSR after partition in 1992 this transmission line got discontinued and not in operating condition anymore so it won't be counted next come to Japan in 1978 Japan has installed a 1000 kV USB AC system and testing is still going on same case with China in 2005 China has installed a 1100 kV USB AC system and testing is still going on. Means they are also means they are also dealing with UHVAC system, but not to this high range. You might have a doubt here. Russia is there, Japan, China are there. But what about USA? USA name is not there. So mention in the comment box what is the maximum transmission line voltage USA is dealing with. I'll give you the hits here. It is still dealing with 
एच वी एस सी सिस्टम ओनली एंड नॉट इवन सेवन सिक्स टू फाइव सो मैं इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स वॉट वोल्टेज इट इज डेलिंग विद एंड वाई